Okay, this video I'm going to show you how to calculate the GPA or grade point average. So, if given are the grade, so you have A, well, A for what? You took two class, maybe three grade class. So, two class you get A, and three class you get B, one class you get C, and you have one independent credit hour, you get D, and you get one class you got F, you didn't earn anything. So what is your GPA? For example, you took, this is one of the semester you see, oh, you took one semester on the two class and you get A. So you suppose, oh, I got four GPA. No, that's not what it is actually. It's average. For example, earlier semester, you took three class and you got B. In another class, you took C, got C. Your average is gonna be basically lower. So your GPA is not gonna be four. So how do you count it? We, this is a ranking. This is basically connecting to the board account. Board account is basically your assign point. Then one, ex, one, one exception in this one is basically you are not only assigning point, you are dividing by the number of, you know, hours, total number of hours. Assigning point with the letter value and divide by average. Grid point average means you divide, divide by the number of hours. So I'll, how do we work out? Let's, let's take a look here. So the points, let's assign the points. In board account, we supposed to assign last person as one, but this time we're gonna assign as a zero. Why? Because F means you didn't earn any credit. So it's just nothing. One class you failed, so no point is earned. One credit hours you took with independent and you earn one credit. And you earn this one as a two, two, um, two GPA, three point, this one barely is four point as you clearly see these are the point system now this ranking is already there a b c d f these are the point okay now how many hours so these are the number of hours so let's do this grade point average equal to you know average means what you're going to divide by something right so i'm going to actually write down here total number of total number of hours h o u r s hours on the top is going to be i'm going to write this down let me see it makes sense to you the sum of the product product of number of units number of units times letter grade letter value i shouldn't say letter grade i should say letter value actually so i'm going to put down letter value like points okay so this is basically we can think of the rule of formula so gpa gpa is equal to total number of hours so i'm going to add all these six nine three one three i'm going to find the sum okay so six plus nine plus three plus one plus three and also on the top i am going to actually multiply four times six look four times this is the four times six so that's a 24 points as you see i'm going to multiply 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 plus sum means what you add so three times nine plus well i need to go more actually so i need this okay so two times three plus one times one plus zero times three okay so i want to make sure you understand here again so 4 times 6 plus 3 times 9 plus 2 times 3 plus 1 times 1 plus 0 times 3 that goes on the numerator and divided by sum of the hours total number of hours sum of the hours so we just add all of them only the hours we add okay so now we do a little bit of calculation here so we do a little bit calculation so if i go down here it's going to give me 20 4 plus 27 plus 6 plus 1 plus 0 
this should give me 58 so that 58 over 6 times 9 15 18 19 22 so that's over 22 now if I divide by 22 if I divide by 22 is going to give me 2.636 approximately 2.636 so that is my GPA usually if you look at your transcript it gives me three decimal places but anyway you just follow your direction of the question follow the direction of the question so the GPA is in this case is 2.636 end of the semester thank you